So this is how utterly shambolic we've been today. You've actually run out of fuel. Yep. Actually, it doesn't look anywhere near as bad I literally forgot to put pants. <laughs> Is that hailstones? Yep. Ow. Ow. I've got my visor up. Ow. Ow. Oh, f he's off. <laughs> so, Craig's left his bike running. He's nipped to the shop. And it looks like it's overheating. When the Icebreaker Challenge arrived on our doorstep just a few months ago, we got straight on with the job. First off, we did the Salisbury Plains stage. Then we attempted the Welsh stage. And we had an epic fail. But that was okay. We had the Cotswold stage up our sleeve and we completed that a couple of weeks later. And then suddenly, Life got in the way, and we realised we had less than a week to go. So with time running out, that explains why I'm travelling to Wales to do the Welsh stage despite the dreadful weather. But where's Steph? With just days to go, she was called in and had to work. So I was on my way to meet Craig. I'm not sure Craig has ever been on a trip with me and not had mechanical issues. <laughs> you you this time. And then of course there's the classic fork seals. My fork seals weeping. <laughs> so there you have it. There's the story so far. Let's get to Wales, meet Craigie and see if we can finally complete the icebreaker challenge. Well, Craigie and I hadn't seen each other for ages, and it was awesome to catch up again. Um, unfortunately, it was a long night of catching up, so to say that we weren't at our sharpest the next morning was a massive understatement. I literally forgot to put pants. <laughs> Luckily for us, though, Craigie was on his brand new bike. Well, brand new to him anyway, so the chances of having mechanical issues, ah, they were nothing. Really? <laughs> Why didn't I change the switch? I bought one and I was too lazy to change it. For sake. Yeah, I think I can see me disconnecting that fairly quickly. Well, he finally got the bike started, and despite having a night of pretty much no sleep and feeling a little bit shabby, off we went. Yeah, Craig and I stayed in what looked like barracks or something. A bit weird, but cheap and cheerful. Yeah, the room's nice enough. Yeah. I don't think it was the room's fault that I had a crap night's sleep. <laughs> We'd set up our rally roadbook tablets just before we left the accommodation that we'd been staying in. And it sounds like Craigie did a cracking job. I suddenly realised because of his tablet I can't see my speed. Shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We are a clatter of bits today. So problem number one with Craigie's bike, in case he didn't get it, is uh, he's now, he can't switch it off. Well, I can. I just can't switch it back on once I switch it off without a massive path. Let's rephrase that. It, it would be unwise to switch it off. Mode. His, uh, his starter switch is not working properly. In fact, let's just leave the bloody engine running. Yeah, go for it. Save the path. So, Craigie's left his bike running. He's nipped to the shop. And it looks like it's overheating. Yep, I'm going to have to switch that off. Oh god, he's not going to be happy. So poor Craigie arrived back from getting his cable to find that his bike that won't start, that he'd left running, had to be switched off because it turns out his fan also isn't working and it was overheating. Anyway, miraculously, the starter switch worked. So we checked it hadn't lost too much water and we set off towards the start point. 
Getting something warm to eat and drink at the start point was much needed, and then we set off despite our shabby state to see what the Welsh Icebreaker Challenge would hold. Wow, there's a lot of bikes here today. Yep, it's a lot of wet people. Okay, we're off. <laughs> okay, I have exciting news, mate. What? Uh, we are about to go past the distance that Steph and I covered on our first attempt. I've got some horrific clanking noises, so we're going to have to sort this out. Here's where I pulled in with a clatter of bits. Well... So I'm ready, more reliable than a Honda then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously this hill won't come out, because they never do. They look flat. Uh, but, yeah, that's the, we just turned onto the first track. Took us a little bit by surprise. So we're just going to let the tyres let the tires down a bit. Yeah, I'll just try and find somewhere to stop. Is that, are you able to get past me? Yep. Okay. Whoa, he's off. <sighs> wow, today's going well. So what's a bit tricky to see, because of the way the camera records things, is that the bike had dropped from a higher area into a lower area. So the wheels were up in the air, and the body of the bike was, was much lower, and it was making it incredibly difficult to lift. So unless I sort of dragged it round, which I would do if I was solo, it was time to go and get the cavalry. Oh, bless him. There he goes. Clambering up the hill. Right. Let's uh, Let's try again. again. Okay, that's better. Got a bit of a start. I would have stopped the train, but that would have been disastrous. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, there's a hero of the day. Here he comes. Says your intercom isn't on. Is your intercom on? As further testament to our shambolic state this morning, we couldn't even get our intercoms to work and spent a good five or ten minutes faffing around, pushing buttons, trying to speak to each other. Let's see what this brings. So, joy and hilarity, I would yeah. expect. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about joy. I would say definitely hilarity. Oh, bit of a water feature. Um, uh, it looks fine, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go first. Off you go. Looks absolutely fine. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I felt deep in the middle. 
shall get my stick out. <laughs> ah, your prodding stick. Uh, let's walk it for a bit, let's see. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen the prodding stick in action. Hang on, I haven't walked the whole length yet. It was quickly becoming apparent that with the incredibly wet weather we'd had recently, the trails were absolutely flooded. So with the never before seen prodding stick, Craigie decided to check it out. Once he was happy, off we went. And straight after this one was another one that a lot of people had diverted round, but uh, Craigie used his <laughs> his prodding stick and uh, it wasn't too bad, so we just went through it. So this is how utterly shambolic we've been today. What time is it, Craigie? Uh, 20 to 12. <laughs> 20 to 12? and uh, have a little look at how far we've got on the road book. What's the road, the road book's about 170 kilometers or something. <laughs> wow, 14.99 kilometers. Mate, we're useless. I literally forgot to put pants. <laughs> <laughs> but on the plus side, we are uh, starting to feel a little bit better now, just a little bit. So hopefully the going will get easier, right? Get on the go. How are you doing, Freddy? Is this blowing the cobwebs away, mate? Oh, still get dodgy, God's sake. <laughs> I'm on my wee lamb, don't go that way. Oh, you're gonna go that way. Bloody sheep, you're so stupid. Oh, they are ridiculously cute, though, you lambs. Oh, yeah, they are. Most things are cute when they're young, except for possibly humans and baby owls <laughs> baby rats yeah. that's true baby rats ain't too cute yeah baby owls are strangely not cute <laughs> considering <laughs> how cute owls are yeah it's amazing what conversations you have on welsh hillsides <laughs> uh don't go for it yeah they haven't been deep have they <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> mm. holy shit that looked deep I want it's to... a little, it's fine, but it's a little ledge at the end, so you need to keep a bit of momentum. Okay. Right, 13.12. Jink left and over at some woods. That was deep, that one. Yeah, it was a bit. Can we just ride to the end and say we've done it? <laughs> you know I would. <laughs> but, and it wouldn't surprise me if Steph was tracking yes. us right now. Yes, I can believe that. Going, what are you slow f Daddy, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Sweet tarmac. It's always loud in the off-road, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, a fancy little off-road section. Yeah. Will it ever end? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Delight at. Yes. Yeah, Sweet, know. Sweet tarmac. How long did that last? Well, no count. And there's a gate. Ah, nice. Good show, it's been a uh, while. It has. Oh, do you know oh. what? I think I've started to feel better because the, a thought just popped into my head, which was, oh, I'm looking forward to my beer tonight. <laughs> I think Craigie's response was uh, indicative that he might not be quite ready to discuss this evening's entertainment plans just yet. I am overheating with this down jacket on. Now, you wouldn't have thought something as simple as taking a rain jacket off would prove that difficult, would you? <laughs> uh, no, no, he's done it. Oh, mate, look at the track. This actually looks a pleasant to ride track. It does, actually. First time for everything.
make a you make a mighty fine sight out there, don't you? In the distance, riding through the the stunning Welsh countryside. Thanks very much. Thank you. What do we do here? Stay behind them or trip it round? Their uh, their brakes were overheating, so. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Oh, you good? All good, mate. It is half twelve. We haven't done thirty kilometres. Oh. Oh. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. Okay. Well, we were aware that there was going to be plenty of water. Yeah, sandy though, that was yeah. nasty. Uh, you know what, I think it's fine. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and get the game Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll get the gate and go first. You have a nice wee rest here. Uh, right, I'm going. Bon voyage. Oh, they're, they're really easy, actually. Oh. Was that famous last word, sir? <laughs> no, actually, they are nice. Firm bottoms, I think. Oh, it's fine. It's, it's all right. But you should see the size of the one round the corner. Oh, uh, really? Uh, it's a long one. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, is that hailstones? Yep. Ow. Ow. I've got my visor up. Ow. Me too. Ow. Ow. Ah, you... Somebody... Who has angered the motorcycle gods? Ow. Jeez. I cannot see anything with my visor. I've got to stop. Sam. Usually, hail doesn't last long. A mystic Craig was absolutely right. It didn't last long. With a non-stop torrential rain of the last few weeks, it was making everything just heavy going. And with 30 odd kilometers gone out of a 160 kilometer track, I was starting to realize that we were now going to be fighting to get this done in the daylight. Some of these are pretty deep and I'm definitely in the wrong rut. <laughs> At least the weather had dried up briefly. Okay, that was a very brave, Craig. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> <laughs> That's deep shit. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine driving the bike 30 feet from the road? I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. Can you get through there, safety? Uh, he's going to pull forward. Right, I better get away then, eh? <laughs> uh, that was nice of him. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought that the track was through here? Ah, there you are. Oh, <laughs> a, a gate. I'm a assume. hidden gate. I'm assuming, yeah. So, that nice guy... Uh, move this lorry out the way so we can get to the we can get to the trail. And a quick update: we are not making good progress. What time is it? Uh, so it's twenty past one, and we've done thirty-eight kilometres out of one hundred and seventy. I'm starting to think daylight might beat us. We were sort of hoping that lanes would get faster flowing to make up a bit of time, but uh, it wasn't looking that way at the moment. Uh, Lambs, come on, get out of the way, fellas. Oh. Okay. 
Wow. Jeez. This is a f***ing workout, this. Okay. Uh, in fact, I've parked just where you want to go, haven't I? That's, That's okay. okay. Don't worry. I'll think of something. <laughs> Yeah, what you'll be thinking is mostly why did that no-bed park there? <laughs> there won't be a bit to that. <laughs> Don't speed. I might, I might give you a better room for this one. Oh, a tree room. <laughs> like that, is it? I think I'm overheating a little bit again after that. So as Craigie's bike was starting to boil over again, what we really needed was a nice easy surface to let him get a bit of speed and cool it down. It was hard to describe just how slippy the next section was. It was Whoa. greasy mud on top of wet grass. Oh, it really tried our patience this section. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable, isn't it? Once we've made it past those really slow, brutally slippy sections, things really started to look up. The tracks were much faster and we started to make up time. Remember the fighting chance now of doing it in daylight? But... The petrol would be nice. <laughs> yes, yeah. Poor Craig, he's got petrol anxiety at the minute. We're not sure what his range is, so that might be some company soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> was that as deep as it felt? Uh, well, mine was. <laughs> I wasn't really watching you too carefully. <laughs> I've got to be honest. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, these <laughs> these are deeper than I was expected as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. There's a lot of people gone round this. Yeah. Uh, I'm going for it. Actually, it doesn't look anywhere near as bad. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going round it. <laughs> Famous last words, have you ever heard them? That was brilliant mate, well done. That was funny. It's a quick stop to put our stuff on, to put our coats on. How do you reckon it's going so far, Greggy? I've, I've had enough really. <laughs> <laughs> we're putting on a brave face for the camera, but we're so good wet, we've got, we're still a little bit, a little bit, um, What's the right word? Haggard from last night. Yes. Uh, and we're still not quite functioning in the mental department. No, I'm not. <laughs> but we've been saying for the last half an hour, yeah, we've probably had enough now. But anyway, we're going to do it come hell or high water, and mainly high water. I'd say we're for the bit of hell. Oh, yeah. So things are wrong with Craigie's bike at the minute. Uh, it's pretty good. Oh, not bad. He's got fuel anxiety, slightly. We can't start the bike occasionally, and it does boil over if we stop for longer than three milliseconds. So, current situation is... Mike is fading, but not too bad at all. Uh, Craigie is got pretty much no fuel left, but not much fuel. But we're only 16 kilometres from the end. Ten kilometres to go. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Tense. Tense. Yes, that's a good word. Tense. We've actually run out of fuel. Yep. With about three miles to go. Here I come. Oh, mate. This is so f <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Why don't we both... So it obviously feeds from this side, yeah? I'm guessing. So why don't you jump off a minute, I'll take the bike, and we'll just slosh most of it onto this side. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure that's going to crack it, but... So factoring in that we were trying to slosh sort of an egg cup of fuel towards his fuel pipe, and the fact his starter switch wasn't working, we weren't holding our breath. But unbelievably it started. Can I suggest I'll be your gentle on the throttle? It's easier said than done, but... <laughs> it finishes at 160, doesn't it? Yeah... Okay, we've got... Probably four miles. We got no fuel. Shit! It was running when I stopped it. I've got that. I mean, I don't see fuel in there. There's none in the right. Is only in the left. Yeah. Oh. There you go. There we go. We're off, mate. So Craigie's new tactic is to switch his engine off every time we reach a downhill section. <laughs> You've done it! It's just at the petrol station we've done it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. And despite the dreadful weather, the waterlogged conditions, daylight running out, fuel and mechanical issues, <laughs> our lack of sleep, our incompetence, and last but not least, our fragile state stemming from the previous night, we'd done it. Icebreaker challenge, mission complete.